Hey everybody, are you wondering what onboarding to FedNow looks like with a service provider? As in, what are you gonna do? What's gonna happen? Well, let me tell you how it works with Pigeon. When you are ready to get started with onboarding to the FedNow service and you get started with Pigeon, it all starts with the first step and that's a kickoff meeting. This is a kickoff meeting between you and your financial institution. It is the first step in the onboarding process. We hold a kickoff meeting with you and your team. Now, the purpose of this meeting, well, it is to review the onboarding process and the timeline. We wanna make sure we meet expectations. It's to make sure that we understand your institution's specific or let's say unique requirements and also your expectations. We also identify any potential challenges or risk that may exist in the onboarding process. And the meeting has representatives from both your financial institution and the Pigeon team. During the meeting, your institution should provide Pigeon with an overview of your organization and your plans for using the FedNow service. This will help us to ensure we have you set up for success once you go live for your account holders. The Pigeon team will then provide your financial institution with an overview of the onboarding process and a timeline to help meet and set expectations. During this meeting, it's also a great time to discuss any potential challenges or risks. I know I already said that, but let's make sure we get those because any challenges or risks that could arise during the onboarding process, we wanna be aware of them. We wanna know what can be done to keep everyone on track and make sure we're meeting go live dates and product launches. That takes us to the next step, which is reviewing the FedNow onboarding checklist. The FedNow onboarding checklist, yeah, see once the kickoff meeting has been completed, you and or your team, your financial institution, will need to complete some tasks. That's our checklist. First of all, we wanna make sure that you complete the FedNow subscription request via the FedNow portal. So you're gonna to have to have access to the FedNow portal to be able to do that. Also, make sure to complete the forms in Operating Circular 8, Appendix A and B. These have to be completed by your financial institution. And we've got a video that goes in more detail what those forms actually are, and they are provided by the Fed. These are forms that will do things like detail the technical and operational contacts at your financial institution and who will manage the FedNow service interactions. Next, we have Provide Accounting Information Services Form 1. This form captures details on how transactional data should be accounted for and reported to your financial institution. Then you're going to need to complete the FedNow subscriber request. This is a formal request and it must be completed to obtain the status of a subscriber which will include the necessary legal and compliance documentation that you know, we have in everything we do. We also need for you to provide the operation contacts. Those are gonna be your operational contacts. And that is in case there is ever a problem and to ensure we're talking to the correct people. We require that you provide a list of operational contacts for day-to-day -day management and also escalation purposes if ever needed. After that, we have the Participation Operational Attestation, the EAUC for the FI. This is where your institution must attest that your financial institution meets all the operational requirements for participating in the FedNow service. Now, we are ready for the Participation Profile Setup by FedNow. FedNow sets up the financial institution profiles in both their test and their production environments. Now that takes us through all of the FedNow onboarding checklist steps. It's now time for the core integration. This is where the Pigeon team and your financial institution need to investigate your systems with the FedNow service and how they're gonna interact. This could involve a couple of steps. First of all, maybe developing the code to connect to the FedNow service that's required for interacting with your core system. And if necessary, well, the code actually may have already been developed or it may not be and we've got to create it. And then we work on IP address configuration. Pigeon provides public and private IP addresses to set up your VPN connection. The VPN connection is really important. We also work on the tunnel setup where, the, where we establish secure funnels between Pigeon's AWS UAT and your financial institution's core testing area if available. 
And most importantly, between Pigeon's AWS production environment and your institution's live environment. To make sure everything works, we conduct API testing. The Pigeon team conducts extensive testing of the APIs to ensure smooth communication and transaction handling. That's the core integration piece, and it's a big piece. It's core to the whole thing. Now we are ready though, to move on to the Pigeon VPN configuration. In order to connect to the FedNow service, the financial institution will need to configure a VPN tunnel between its systems and Pigeon's AWS UAT, or really our product regions. This will involve a few different steps. One, provide public and private IP addresses for the VPN configuration. Yeah, you said that earlier, making sure you know it's an important step. Add your IPs to the Pigeon test and production environments. Establish tunnels between FedNow and the FI's core system. And Pigeon will provide the financial institution with more information about how to correctly configure its VPN tunnel. And API testing. Once the FI has completed the core integration and the Pigeon VPN configuration steps, it will need to conduct API testing to ensure that its systems are communicating properly with the FedNow service. This testing should be conducted in both the test and production environments. That information actually repeated, so let's take the first one that sounded best. Next, FedNow setup. Test once the API testing has been completed. The FI will need to configure its FedNow settings in the test environment. This includes things like setting up routing rules and configuring settlement options, the preferred options that you want to have working in your environment. Once your financial institution has configured its FedNow settings in the test environment, and the Pigeon team does work with you on this, you'll want to conduct end-to-end -end testing to ensure that you can send and receive transactions over the FedNow network, or maybe at least just send messages if you're not planning on sending transactions. Then we have the FedNow Go Live. Once your financial institution has completed all its testing, you can deploy the FedNow service in the production environment. And again, we work with you on that. We are now live. And now we need to have a final step. And that final step is actually monitoring and support. Once the FedNow service has been deployed to the production environment, financial institutions will need to monitor the performance, ensure that it's operating smoothly or as expected. Again, the Pigeon team does help you with this. This includes things like monitoring transaction volumes and your response times, both available within the Pigeon interface. Your financial institution should also have a plan in place for how to handle any issues that may arise with the FedNow service. We call this policies and procedures, okay? We've got to have them. Pigeon does provide support to our financial institutions who are using the FedNow service. The FedNow onboarding process, it can feel pretty complex, but it's necessary to ensure that financial institutions are prepared to participate in the FedNow service. By following these steps, your financial institution can ensure that you are onboarded to the FedNow service in a timely and efficient manner. I hope this information has been helpful. Please let me know if you have any other questions. You may also contact our Pigeon team for assistance. Like I said, they're gonna be there the whole way through helping you to get this done. But for now, happy processing and class dismissed.